G'day, I'm Kate. Welcome to the Lampshade Workroom. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a drum lampshade like this one from scratch using all new modern materials and a modern shade making technique that I have perfected over years of working as a professional shade maker. So in this modern lampshade making technique there are three main supplies that make this differ from traditional shade making. The first is lampshade PVC and this is a product which is made specifically for the lampshade industry. It's PVC that's uh, white on the inside that becomes the inside of the shade and it throws light beautifully from the bulb that that is on the inside of your shade. The exterior of the PVC is a Red and white, a red and clear plastic grid, and that just covers the sticky side. And the sticky side of the PVC is what the fabric gets bonded or laminated to, and that's what makes it a really, really easy technique to quickly achieve a beautiful product. So that's the PVC. It's fire retardant. It's non-yellowing. It's heat resistant. So it's a very safe product, and. Um, that's the, that's the start. That makes the wall of our shade. The other thing that makes this differ from traditional shade making is a pair of rings which are called a ring set. The ring set has one plain ring and one with a fitting on it which is called the bulb holder fitting. So that goes inside the shade and the lamp bulb attaches to the lamp base through this bulb holder fitting and that bit is usually painted white because it's visible when the shade's finished. The rest of the rings and the plain ring aren't painted because they don't need to be because they're going to get hidden by the rolled edge that we're making when we attach this all together. So the top and bottom ring goes attaches to the PVC and the way it attaches is another lampshade industry specific product and that's a double-sided tape which is incredibly flexible and strong and very very tacky and it's completely clear the tape but it happens to have a red plastic cover and that's just so it helps you find it if you didn't have the red plastic cover you'd never know where you'd stuck this stuff down so that attaches the rings to the wall of the shade and those three things are the main things that make up this modern lampshade method. Of course, the thing that most people are drawn to who want to learn how to make shades, it's nearly always the fabric. And this, these days the fabric just has such a wide, choice, wide range of choices. And that's because of digital printing, which is opened up the whole of the textile industry. You're able to just choose such a, a wide choice of patterns and colors on different base cloths. So this particular fabric that I've chosen to use for my demonstration shade today is a screen printed fabric. So it's hand screen printed by a small boutique uh, company and it's printed onto a beautiful high quality fine linen and that makes a very easy fabric to learn on when you're learning lampshade making. Uh, elsewhere in this course you'll see the notes about suitable and unsuitable fabrics to choose from. So I won't go into the detail of that now, but the fabric is the next, the next important part of the shade process. Then there are a number of tools that are supplied when you buy a kit and others that you shall supply yourself. So probably the most important of the tools that you'll be supplying yourself is a good sharp pair of scissors, dressmaking scissors, quilting scissors with a nice sharp edge on them. You'll also need a pair of craft type or utility scissors and they're just the cheapies and the reason you want them is you'll be cutting that um, double sided tape uh, during the during the process and you wouldn't dream of using your good scissors for cutting the sticky tape. So that's what they're for. And then there are a few different things which um, we use along the way, marking tools and tucking tools. Um, so I'll talk about them as we come to them during the process. 